find the least positive value of x for which cosine is equal to 1 over root 2. So the first step is to draw a unit circle. Cosine is uh, x coordinate, so solutions are angle A and angle B because 1 over root 2 is somewhere here between 0 and 1 on x-axis because x-axis uh, corresponds to cosine x coordinate of any angle is cosine of this angle and how to find uh, what is the measure of a and what is the measure of b the first uh, the next step is we consider cosine of some acute between, uh, between 0 and 90 degrees angle is equal to this value by absolute value we take uh, ignore minus if uh, uh, it is here so we take absolute value of this value always with plus and find such angle so that cosine cosine because here is cosine cosine of this angle is 1 over 2 uh, there exists uh, exact value it's 45 degrees or pi over 4 and pi over 4 is a supplementary angle which is between always between x axis and our rays so pi over 4 is between x axis and uh, our ray uh, 2a and also pi over 4 is between x axis and uh, ray to angle b I repeat, you can see the cosine of uh, um, some angle is equal to this value, uh, absolute, uh, absolute value of this number. So you take always plus, find this angle. It will be always angle between 0 and 90. And uh, this angle is between x, always between x axis and the first ray to the first angle and also between x and uh, a ray to the second angle and now we just copy this uh, angle x over 2 plus pi over 3 is equal to and just from a picture from this unit circle find what is measure of a and what is measure of b so its solution for for a because it will be two, uh, two solutions, or in general there are infinitely many solutions, but uh, the first possible angle is A and the second is B. So we can see the A and then B. So for A it's uh, pi over 4, but it may be plus or minus any number for the revolution. So in general it's pl plus 2 pi k, k is integer. And then just solve for x. So x over 2 is pi over 4 minus pi over 3 plus 2 pi k. So we can calculate it and then multiply each term by 2 to get finally that x is equal to minus pi over 6 plus 4 pi k. Its general solution. Uh, cor uh, which corresponds to point A, angle A. And now we can see the B. And uh, for angles it's uh, zero, 0 degrees in anti-clockwise direction. Um, positive angles in clockwise negative angles. So for B also copy angle. And we can write that it's pi over 4 in clockwise direction. It's minus pi over 4. Actually it's... Uh, if we consider in anti-clockwise direction, it's, uh, this angle is uh, 2 pi minus pi over 4. 
but it's not required because to pi k you just take uh, if you consider k to be equal to 1 it you obtain uh, this angle but after one revolution and actually you get uh, uh, this angle as positive so we can take minus pi over 4 and again plus 2 pi k k is integer and again solve for x move it to the right and multiply by 2 each term and get x is minus 7 pi over 6 plus 4 pi k so this together with this gives us general solution and for some problems it uh, may be given some interval so uh, to find solutions from given a given interval but here we need the least possible value to find some specific solutions we consider specific values for for k for example uh, when k is uh, zero x is negative but we need positive so uh, consider one more value of k so for example for k is one we get that x is four pi minus pi over six it's the first uh, positive value for this part of uh, solution but for this part of solution again when k is zero it's negative and when k is one particular solution is four pi minus seven pi over six we can see that they uh, it's the first possible uh, uh, positive solution for this part and it's also the first positive solution but we need the least positive so we can see that it's smaller and hence it becomes the, sm uh, the smallest the least positive solution and we can calculate it and it is equal to 17 pi over 6 so answer the answer is 17 pi over 6. And that's all for this question.